actually <laughs> sat down and filmed this entire intro already and played it back and realized I filmed the entire thing in slow motion without audio. So I'm doing this again. Of course, it was like the one time in my life that I filmed with like pretty much no airs almost like a one take kind of thing which never happens i was like wow don't know what's happening but great intro and then i play it back and it's in slow motion <laughs> So today we're gonna be reorganizing, repacking my entire setup. So if you're new here, I've been traveling for the last 10 months permanently, just living out of suitcases and stuff. I'm trying to just get my setup very organized, streamlined, get it all good. Got a new suitcase, new carry-on, new bags within that, new cosmetics bags. Like I'm literally doing a complete overhaul right now. I definitely have figured out certain things that hopefully will be helpful to you guys, just certain like tips and hacks and just ways I figured out to pack that are the best, at least for me. So I'm gonna have everything I'm talking about today listed down below in the description box. When I started this whole thing 10 months ago, I'm gonna put in a picture here. This is the suitcase situation I had, okay? I was like hauling these massive suitcases upstairs in New York City. Like it was just too much stuff, such a nightmare. I've change suitcases and change things around so many times since then just to try and get like the best setup. So I hope this video is helpful for you whether you're going on like a long-term trip like I am or if you are just going on a weekend trip. I think pretty much anyone packing a suitcase or traveling will get hopefully something out of this video. I hope that's my goal. If you are interested in travel videos, I have vlogs in every city that I've been the last 10 months. So I'm gonna leave the Nomad playlist link down below in the description box. But you can also head over to Instagram. I have city highlights saved. So if you wanna know recommendations for New York City, Chicago, Barcelona, a bunch of different cities, I have them saved over on Instagram. And I'm also updating there more in real time. So. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. Okay, so makeup time with my new bag. So here's how I currently have my makeup. I did a whole video actually on all the makeup I have with me, my brushes, went through everything, how I have it like sorted out. And I do like this, like this does work for me really easily, but I kind of just wanted to try something different out since I'm literally like living out of these bags. So this one I got at Ulta and it has some really promising, like interesting, compartments on the inside but what I really liked is that it's patterned on the outside but then it's actually clear on the inside. I love clear bags for travel because then you can just see everything you have super easily. You don't have to like dig through it all. This looks like it's gonna be promising. I'll show you the inside. So first you have a zipper right here then this mesh thing comes up and this is obviously all clear in here and then this is just a total clear sides. I am gonna have to just like kind of play around with these bags because then I have this one too. This one is from Amazon. I'm thinking I'm gonna do brushes in here, like face brushes in here, eye brushes in here maybe. I like having all of the makeup makeup in one section. I don't want to like split it all up. We'll see. I have this stuff and then this is also makeup that I'm currently testing. So I have a lot right now that I'm gonna have to pack. So first I'm gonna try the brushes in this bag. This is nice because it has that clear cover over it. So here's where my eye brushes are right now. I need to wash all these too. So the length is good for brushes, but I don't know if all of my eye brushes are gonna fit in here. Yeah, I think this is gonna bug me. This is just like too hard to get in and out for the amount of brushes I have. I think it'd be good if you had less. Okay, so what am I gonna do with this then? Yeah, see. <laughs> maybe this isn't the move for brushes. Maybe I use this for something totally different, not makeup. Like maybe I use this for some of my pills because I do want to reorganize my pill thing. Okay, let me do the big makeup thing and come back to this because I have no idea what to put in that now. I'm also gonna kind of like declutter this one a little bit. So I think I've decided I'm gonna do like one side, the makeup I'm testing currently so I don't forget to keep trying it. This is actually an empty, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. This one is like, I've scraped out the sides. Totally empty, the Kosas. I'm also putting things that I know I wanna wear more on this side. Like I know I like this, but I just haven't worn it in a minute. So I'm gonna put that on that side. Okay, I like the separation there of testing versus not. And then I think I'm gonna put like tweezers, little scissors in here and probably the new lash glue. So actually when you close this, it does fit like a, a lot. Like there's still much more room in here. So you could probably put like a thing of makeup wipes or something right here, just something to like fill up the space and kind of cushion it because it zips like super easily closed like this. 
For size comparison, it's about the same size as this one, but like a little bit thicker. I'm working on organizing this bag, which is new, this is from Amazon. And I wanted something where I could keep all of my cords a little more organized and all my random like camera tech stuff. Here's a little tripod thing. I think it's gonna be good. I like that there's also this slit. So when I have my iPad back, I can put my iPad back here or you could put like your Kindle or something. And there's all of these pockets. I have my AirTag in there, hard drive. I still have stuff to add to here because I'm like using it right now. I have these chargers, this thing, but this will slide flat. So I think it'll be good in there. I think this is gonna be good and then just zip shut. And then there's also the two outside pockets here. So it has a decent amount of space and it's pretty flat. Okay, so I figured out much better use of this little bag. I had just a bunch of stuff like floating in my carry-on, like medication, pens, eye drops, all that. And this like fits everything perfectly so and I can actually use the pouches so I have just a bunch of medication eye mask and sanitizer pad thing and then on this side I just have injection pen some a roll-on and then my equilibria relief bond these are like their travel size a tampon and then the equilibria CBD love these for traveling the daily drops this is like the travel size I usually have the full size white one with me too and then this is the roll on tampon some pens ponytails eye drops so i actually think this is perfect now everything's not floating around in there i can see it easier and it's just more organized and that's pretty tiny so to have all of that in this little thing now for my carry-on is really nice so these bags are so cute i found them at tj maxx hopefully you can find them by a store near you i'll try to find like pattern ones online that look like this i've been putting just like random things in them like i have my self tanner in this one and then i put like sunscreen and stuff in another it came in this pack with these like watermelon smaller ones actually in between this video i actually did like a smaller weekend trip to Asheville, north carolina so i have used some of the new stuff stuff already so I can give you kind of updates on how everything's working. Really like these bags and they also look so cute in the suitcase with the makeup bags that I got. Four bucks at TJ Maxx for like a whole big pack of them. But I just ordered this off of Amazon. It's a passport case. I like that it was like all black, black on black. And it's like this like shiny kind of leather material. So it looks really nice in person. It looks like high quality. So I'm going to put my passport in here. I've actually just had it in I have this like very random long weird shaped bag that I've just had like important documents and I have like my CDC card in here too. Pre-stamped envelopes. The reason why I actually had my passport in here is because it looks kind of like discreet and I would put it in like a random place in my suitcase in case you know it gets stolen or whatever. I'll keep that somewhere else. Maybe just my vaccination card in here just in case my passport got lost or something. I don't want to have like everything important in the same area. Tip, I do keep a backup of all of my important documents. Like I have copies on my computer and on my phone of them. So if I did lose it, always have a, you know, copy of it just in case. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna show you the information, but as you can see it, you can have your face, you know, your photo right there. Then there's a section right here where you could put whatever else you needed, IDs or like I said, COVID card. So I have just like random like keepsake things in here. Like I liked this fortune that I got. I also have checks in case I need to write any. Okay, yeah, that looks much better. And I can just like keep it folded up like that. So because I'm in the States for a little bit, I'm gonna just put the passport in here. But obviously when I'm traveling abroad, I'll take that out and put it in a better spot in my bag. Okay, for packing clothes, these are my favorite. I've used these since I started this. I've used this brand of the travel compression bags. So I prefer using bags like this over packing cubes because packing cubes are good for organization. If that's your main priority, like keeping things super organized, then those might be the way to go. But if you're trying to really save space, these are incredible. Literally, it takes your bag, I mean, I've showed you using these so many times, but it takes your bag of clothes from like here down to here and it just really compresses everything. It's great. These ones you don't need a vacuum for or a pump. That was like the main reason why I picked these over others. You just roll it out with your own arms and body weight and it works great. So you don't have to worry about like finding a vacuum when you're traveling or like dealing with the pump thing. These have been a lifesaver. I usually need two of them. That's what I've been using, like two of the big size. I don't worry about the clothes wrinkling because they're gonna wrinkle. Like even if you roll up your clothes, they wrinkle. So, you know, if you're traveling, you'll just have to steam it or iron your clothes if you have clothes that get wrinkly. So it doesn't really matter to me. I'd rather save on space. Keep my swimsuits in this little bag. Obviously after summer, I'll be ditching this guy because I probably won't need it. This is just a random like 
makeup bag from Lawless that I got in PR at some point. So I fill these bags up to about here. You want to leave enough room so that they can close and you can really like roll out the air. This is probably going to bother some people like the not folding or whatever. But again, there's literally no point because when I take out my clothes, I'm like ironing them and then hanging them. So. So then I kind of just like press it out and shape it to make it really flat. Or if you want to do two side by side, mold it to be kind of a rectangle. Okay, so that's half my clothes right there. And when I'm filming this, I leave tomorrow afternoon. So I'm leaving like a couple things out. I always bring my sweatshirt with me on the plane. We'll get into that, but that's what the clothes is over there. Number two. Now I've been doing kind of shorter trips. At the beginning of this, I was staying in places for like a month or two months. Now I'm kind of just like, traveling all over and doing like a little bit shorter. So because of that, well, I'm out of breath from rolling those bags. But because of that, doing my clothes like this is just so much easier than like individually rolling or folding or whatever. It's like I throw it all in, I roll it out, and I go. It's just quick, easy to pack up. I don't have to think about it. If you are gonna be doing international travel, just make sure ahead of time you're checking your suitcase sizes because especially like budget airlines like Ryanair, they just have different smaller requirements typically for carry-ons and a lot of like the European airlines even have smaller sizes for checked bags. So just make sure you check the requirements ahead of time. The bag that I'm using today is fine for international travel as far as checking a bag. Okay, so time for the big boy, the actual suitcase. So this base is the medium tan size. This one is brand new, but I've used base for almost a year now. I have the smallest one and the biggest one in black. I love them. I have talked about them so many times, but I've paid for all mine my own. They don't know I'm talking about them. They're just the best quality hard shell suitcases I have found. I've tried all the main brands and the outside of these is the best, like hardest. It's not super squishy. You can't like press it in, which a lot of them actually are, even though they're hard shell. The wheels on here are like incredibly smooth when you roll it. It's just like, it feels different. I don't know what the heck they did. And then there's a cushy handle on here. So it's actually like memory foam, which when you're gripping or rolling a heavy suitcase, for long periods of time. It's actually really nice because then your hand doesn't start hurting. Gold handle. And then there's the gold zippers right here and there is a luggage lock. So you could just put these in, set your combo. So I feel like one of the hardest things that I had to figure out and that hopefully this will help you now that I've done so much like trial and error over the months is finding the right size. Like, do you go with two smaller suitcases so you can carry one on and check the other? Do you do just one big suitcase? This size is okay for like checking on Ryanair and international travel, but it's not too big to where like it's too big for trains and things like that. So you don't want to have like huge bags because it's just so much harder to haul in and out of the train. You can't fit it above. It just makes everything more difficult. So this size is a little bit bigger than the one that I was just using for Europe, but just by like a couple inches. It's still relatively small. Like I'm a small person, I'm 4'11". So you're seeing this against a 4'11 person, but like this isn't that big of a suitcase at all. If you can have one good size suitcase with a good size carry-on, I feel like that's the best combo. I always check my bags. I've never been like a carry-on kind of gal. I don't know, it doesn't bother me. I just check my bags so I don't have to deal with getting it in the overhead and like doing that whole thing. If you're a really heavy packer, this would be, you know, perfect for like a weekend trip for you. It's not too big to where it's like, oh my God, don't take this on a weekend trip. But if you're a fairly light packer and you're doing like long-term travel or going on a longer trip, I mean, you could definitely fit like a week and a half or in my case, just <laughs> forever's worth of stuff in here. I just look for places that you can do laundry. I feel like that's the key. So this guy, perfect size. And then I'll show you what it looks like with the new carry-on over top. And then here's what it looks like with a Dagging Dover medium bag over top, which we'll get into. The tags are coming off. Okay, I'm excited. I love the interior of base bags. Oh my God, I forgot I ordered this. I was like, did they just throw this in? I totally forgot I ordered this bag. Okay, I'll show that in a second. Okay, so here's the inside of the base bag. So basically this side has, as you can see, these two pockets you can put shoes, toiletries, whatever in here, cause it's clear and like that waterproof material. I mean, this is, you could wipe this down too. And then this opens to one big 
area. I love when bags have this like full zip. I like to use the zip part for any of my loose bags and random things. For example, like flat iron, the steamer, makeup bags, toiletry bags, anything that's gonna be like sliding around because then you can just zip over it. With every base bag, they give you these two bags. So you can use those dirt bags. So here's like the laundry bag, or you can use it for like shoes and stuff. Well, then on this side, on the inside, you have this smaller little compartment, which you can put whatever you want in. And then here's another big guy. And then this, I love that it has this zip pocket right here. And then you have these straps that close over top. Everything is so well thought out with base, like the interior, the exterior, the materials, all of it. I just think it's the best. This bag I'm not changing because this one has always worked really well for me. This was just like, I can't link this. It was just a bag from PR, but the shape of it, I really like. It's nice and big. I've never had issues like fitting things in here and it also squeezes down well. So I just do like skincare, razors, extras, makeup wipes, hair ties, just like all of that kind of stuff. But onto the thing I'm most excited about. So these I'm gonna be organizing, I think in here, this is the new base bag that I just got. So we'll come back to that. I actually found this perfect bag to match this from Walmart for $8. So this was eight bucks. This is the expensive guy from Ulta, but I've been using this, like, you know, doing my makeup out of it for probably about a week now. I really like it. I'm super happy with it. I think this, for me, this is worth the money because I'm literally using it every day. I love that it has the two different sections. And then when I saw this at Walmart, I was like, oh my God, this is perfect for the makeup brushes. So I have all my makeup in here and then all of my makeup brushes in here. And what I did to keep them separate like I like is I still have this guy, which has all of my eye brushes. This is a perfect size for eye brushes. I just like to keep them separate so much easier when you're reaching for brushes than having to like dig through a big bag finding stuff. So these are all of my face brushes and then sponges down there. And if I'm like dampening a sponge a lot, I'll just leave it out so it doesn't get like gross, you know, in a bag. And it just like looks neater from the outside. I can still, you know, find everything easily, but not seeing the makeup on the outside like I had in my clear bags, it just looks like a lot cleaner and I love that these match perfectly. Even like the zipper, like were these made in the same <laughs> warehouse because the zippers even look like identical. Okay, so now onto these. I think I'm gonna try condensing maybe these two things into the new base bag. So you could totally use this if you just, if you're someone who carries on makeup, this would be a good carry on bag or you could use this for other things besides makeup. It doesn't have to be a makeup bag. It is intended for that because it has the clear top and then this is actually a little mirror that it comes with, a makeup mirror. And this bag comes in a couple different colors. I now have all my lip products in here, which I do like having it separate, but I'm debating if I wanna do like lip products in the top, maybe the lashes on the bottom just so I can have one condensed bag for the rest of the makeup. But when you're packing, like you also have to think about just the size of all this because the thing is this is like very flat actually so sometimes having even if things are in multiple bags if they're flat it can almost be better sometimes because you can just throw it you know on top or squeeze it into like a narrow area that's why i really like this bag this is again one i can't link this was just a pr bag but i like that it's so flat and this just perfectly fits all of my travel size like hair products. It's cute because it's definitely made for like carry on, you know? You've seen people put, if you're someone who does like skincare on the plane, I don't, but if you are, you can put like your sheet mask and like skincare on one side and then makeup on the other to get ready. Actually, I actually have another box of teeth whitening I need to add to here. So I have teeth whitening and then lashes. Okay, that was super easy. I'm gonna make sure none of these need to be like wiped off because I don't want to put anything like sticky in the new one. Love the new Lawless Gloss. I love the shade Daisy Pink and this is their new one, Cherry Vanilla. This is what I have on right now. It's the Tarte Lip Plump in the shade Cherry Blossom. I just have a bunch of liners. Cute, okay, this fits perfect. So nice, I like that they're all like laying flat too so I can actually like see everything easier. Fits perfect. All of my makeup and brushes in these three bags. I have these other bags that I got off Amazon. Before I had two of these and I was using them for different things. Now I just have one. I have my bras and socks in here and then like random tights and stuff. And then I actually just started using one of the um, watermelon bags just for 
underwear. So this is all my underwear. And I like it because you can, here you can like squeeze out the air since it is a Ziploc and just make it really small and squeeze it into your suitcase. And it's just tiny, I mean, both of these together are pretty small. Uh, I just realized I had some more clothes out. Here's the laundry bag I've been using, just like a massive, really big one. But the base bag also comes with a laundry bag so you could just use that. I just throw this actual bag in the washing machine too to clean it but folds up super small. I always start with clothes. So I'm gonna put my clothes on this side, just one next to the other. And like I said, I kind of like press it, shape it so I can fit two next to each other. But if you wanted to, you could make them flatter, you know, and do one on top of the other, whatever. Okay, so that's all my clothes. Obviously this is, you know, more clothes than just your average trip, but as you can see, there's still space on the side. So I like to utilize any kind of space I have, just keep, in mind the weight so you do want to put a couple of the heavier items in your carry-on but i've been under 50 pounds like closer to 40 pounds lately so i should be good but this is a perfect spot for my steamer also if you wanted to you can unbutton and remove this whole thing keep in mind if you have things that are breakable you might want to use these kind of things as padding so on the other side like for makeup and stuff so i usually don't put these ones in with the clothes and probably fit my pair of heels, I have one pair of heels with me. These are the two bags that I travel with. This one is more dressy. This one is a good, like, fits my vlog camera. You can fit a ton in here. It's really cute. I love this Adidas bag. I've showed this a lot. There are things in here, like just random things that I don't care to take in and out every time and like redo my bag. This bag I'm still gonna be using today. And then I just usually put it right on top of like the clothes section and it lays flat enough, same with this one. So this is where I put my sunglasses because it keeps them padded. I've never had a pair of sunglasses break. My mic is face down. Okay, I've never had a pair of sunglasses break on me traveling, I don't think, and this serves as like the case basically. Sunglass cases can get pretty bulky, especially like those hard shell ones. Also just gonna be sharing like good travel items in this video because obviously if you're watching this, you're interested in travel. These I mentioned in a recent video, they're amazing. They're Crocs platform sandals. Yes, Crocs, <laughs> you heard that right. But these are so comfortable for walking in. I'm walked miles in these in Asheville when we went on that trip. The soles are like super squishy, so they're just really comfortable in walking in, but you can dress them up or down. So I fit the rest of my shoes in here. I have tennis shoes in here, a pair of sandals, and then those Crocs platform sandals. I don't know if I'm gonna be keeping them here because the thing is, if you put shoes in here, it just depends how much stuff you have on this side to be able to close the bag since this is kind of raised rather than if you can kind of like wedge your shoes between things that can usually save a lot more room. This is how I've stored my jewelry for months now. I actually started off with two of these when I started on my travels and now I'm just down to one and this one's like half full. But this is how I store my jewelry. I like this way better than having like a hard jewelry case because it's flat so it takes up less room. It's fairly lightweight obviously depending on like how heavy of jewelry you're putting in. It rolls up and I like that I can like separate out my earrings and stuff still. Anything flat is good because you can just like throw it right on top of your suitcase. Doesn't take up a lot of room and it's just like a nice black velvet packaging. I'm gonna have everything I'm talking about linked down below. So update on the handheld chai steamer. Chi I don't know why I keep saying chai. <laughs> chi steamer now that I've used it. This is pretty small for like a steamer. It's This is the shape, it looks like this. So one thing I liked about this for a travel steamer, they make other travel steamers, but they're usually like bigger and bulkier and like kind of round. And so that's just harder to pack. This one is obviously more slim. It kind of just looks like a flat iron and they give you a little case here. It works well. So you don't have to whip out a whole ironing board or if you're in a hotel or an Airbnb without a steamer and iron board, it's just really nice. One thing I can't figure out though is if the voltage is okay like if this will work in other countries you might need a converter converters change the voltage and then adapters are like the plug to fit in that you always need in other countries so i think it'll definitely work i just might need a converter on top of it this is kind of hard to show without showing things but this is where i have been keeping all of my meds it's like a pretty big but flat square bag so it has been working well for packing but i'm going to try and move these into this bag this is what i used to have my makeup in i just cleaned it out used clorox bleach wipes on it and stuff and it's just like a little bit smaller these things are so heavy and i hate these boxes but i kind of need them i just have like yeah just things like floating in here that i need to just reorganize those fit so well this is smaller more compact so another good travel item to have is 
this. This is a baggage weight. So you just hook it and then lift up your bag to see how much it weighs. I have some bigger bottles than normal. So I just put them in the black bags because these are things that I'm using and trying. So far, everything is looking good, you guys. This laid perfectly on top of that medicine bag. Sometimes I carry the full medicine bag. It'll just depend, honestly, once I like see how much this weighs. But I love how these fit. These fit perfectly. Okay, so this is the Dagny Dover bag that I ended up getting. I first got a different color, returned it, and got the black one. This is the medium size, so I wanted to show you that you can fit a laptop in here. I have like the big size MacBook. I like that this one is small enough that you can definitely just slide it under your seat easily. And there's tons of pockets on the inside. There's a thing that attaches where you could put your wallet or your passport or something like that. But basically I realized as I'm packing this that I think I would still need to carry the backpack with this. And the downside for me is with something like this, a shoulder bag, I just... I have issues with my neck so I can't carry like heavy stuff. For me, like the carry-on roller suitcase that I got from Europe, the really, really small one that goes in the overhead, that's actually easier because I can just roll it and put a bag like this or the backpack on top of it and I would still have to put one in the overhead and then one under the seat. So I'm still trying to figure this out. I'm definitely not going to have my laptop in here this time so I'm going to have to do some like tweaking still with the carry-on. So this is the new pillow organizer from Amazon I showed. This is just a really tiny thing for my purse, but it's nice. My only critique is that the ones on this side are really... Okay, well that one was easy to open. <laughs> Literally... Oh, why are they all easy to open right now? Before I was like having to dig my nail in to open these. Oh, they're not fully shut, that's why. The little clip goes right into that rubber part, so it's just like a little bit tricky to open on this side, so I just put like tums right there and things that I... I'm not going to use a lot. And then my more reached for things. I just, I actually fit a Ubrelby in here. I just folded up the packet and folded up the stuff too. At least it's tiny and now I can have everything in one place for my purse. And this zipper pouch, this is such a good uh, travel hack. These little Thrive Market, or you can get like Nescafe ones, but I like the Thrive Market ones. Instant coffee. So if you're anywhere and they don't have coffee and, or you're in like a dire caffeine need, almost everywhere has like a water kettle, you know, or a stove so you can just make hot water, pour that in, and you have caffeine. I have my folded up laundry bag right here. And then one thing I always add to the top, I'm going to fold this better, but this is just a duffel bag I got off Amazon and this has come in handy a few times where basically if you're traveling, if you're going shopping, if, I don't know, you just never know when you need another bag and this is so thin and lightweight that it's like, why not bring it? You know, you can just like roll it up or fold it up and stick it right on top of your bag. So if you ever need an extra suitcase, you already have one. So here's this guy. Here's the setup right now. Got the suitcase. I'm 90% sure this is under 50, but I'm gonna use the baggage weight to make sure. This time, obviously I'm gonna have to do this. Basically, if I didn't have camera gear, that would totally work. But because I have two cameras, chargers, batteries, tech stuff. I mean, this alone is just all camera gear and I don't even have all my chargers and stuff in here yet. I don't know, I was trying not to use a backpack for some reason, but I put my laptop back there. I'm gonna have to carry this in here. I just have other things that wouldn't fit in this suitcase that aren't like too heavy because I am gonna be carrying this bag like that with the backpack on. I think the Dagny Dover actually would be like perfect too for like a weekend bag maybe if you got the one size up just keep in mind this is like a very <laughs> me problem because i have all those electronics i would be able to f just do that if not so like if you're doing something similar i feel like that with the dagny dover should be good i also just have like a lot of extra product right now and stuff so it's just i have a lot right now that i normally wouldn't put the base bag because this is you know stuff i can check i also have tsa pre so it doesn't i mean they never check your cosmetics and stuff and then this is the swimsuit bag just because this is like heavy and it's like a weird shape oh i love this bag so this is i showed packing this this is actually perfect for like a weekend trip if you have you know medication or anything to bring or just like just that bag to put like the random odds and ends in this is a perfect size and i used this when we were in Asheville, and it was great because i didn't have to bring my whole big thing of meds so i actually really like this bag after all and then actually at the bottom of here i have a hat with just the underwear tucked in and like a belt rolled in there too just to 
save some space in the suitcase and I can put this like that way or the other way and it fits good. This compared to what I started with, I honestly wish I got like a good before, but so much more organized. I love all the different bags I have now. Everything is like way more organized and put together than it was. So I feel good about it. It's all like clean now. Roll it through like this. Obviously this is getting checked. So as soon as I check that, I would be carrying this. Honestly, this is pretty light. This one, like it's not a bad plan. It's not a great plan though for the carry on. A couple more notes. I always use TSA Pre and Global Entry. So TSA Pre, I've never, you never have to like take stuff out of your check-in bag, which is really nice. If you are gonna be doing a lot of travel, definitely check those out, but you get them for free with travel credit cards. I use Amex Platinum and Chase Sapphire. I'll have both of them down below. One of them has a really good offer right now. The Amex Platinum has a really good like bonus offer if you sign up. I talk about the specifics of those on Instagram, so I'll pop in a couple photos and also in my six month Nomad Q&A video, but I just wanna throw that out there. Doing a lot of travel, definitely travel credit cards are the way to go because you get a lot of perks with it and points. So you eventually won't even have to pay for flights because you could just pay for everything with points. I also just wanted to say, just think about and keep in mind, like if you're gonna be abroad, especially there's a lot of cobblestone roads and it's so much easier to get around if you have a good setup and you have something that you can easily carry on your own. It was easy for me to get around when I was brought by myself because I had like the wheel bags and just think about like the cobblestone roads and stuff because even if you can easily wheel your bag straight forward like on all four wheels if you're going in countries with dirt roads or cobblestone you're gonna have to carry it the other way you're gonna have to be able to like pull that weight yourself the less you can bring the better also wanted to say if you're staying in hostels and stuff a lot of them now give you towels but you might need to rent them or you can also bring your own towel they make like really thin you know travel washable kind of towels washable most towels are washable. Just like the really lightweight ones you can also use like for the beach or whatever. So I'll leave an option down below if you are staying in hostels. Like I said, I will update what I end up doing with the carry-on situation. If you have a normal amount of stuff, like I said, if I didn't have all the camera gear and stuff, I would be able to just do the Dagny Dover with the check-in. I think for the majority of people having the medium-sized check-in bag, with the Dagny Dover should work perfect. I also need to look into, one of you guys said that I might be able to get like a media pass actually where you get an extra, I don't know if it's that you don't pay for the checked bag or you can actually check like your camera gear for free. So I'm gonna look into that because that's literally the reason why I have, you know, the extra bag is because it's all equipment, but I will update in a future vlog or video what I end up doing for, especially going abroad again, what I end up doing with the carry on. Hope you enjoyed and got something useful out of this video. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.